finally, on Experimental, we've travelled to Frankfurt in Germany, a city where the women have some rather odd theories about their menfolk. Their brain dropped down to their pants. Sorry, but that's how I feel about them, OK? Oh, OK, fair enough. But is there any truth in this slightly bigoted assessment of the male of the species? Let's meet a man who's interested in finding that out. Dr Christian Kell, a neuroscientist who's determined to find out not just how much of a man's brain is in his pants, but which bit of his brain is down there. It's all part of a project to map which parts of the brain are used for interpreting the sensation of touch. To achieve it, they used a functional magnetic resonance imaging machine, a man and a toothbrush. The machine can see inside your brain as it works. The toothbrush, well, that can stimulate both your toe and other bits you might want to study. For years, we've known the somatosensory cortex, the strip of brain running up from behind the ears to the top on each side, is concerned with touch. And since the 1950s, scientists have assumed that the parts of the cortex that deal with the parts of the body are laid out like this. The head here, the hands here, the legs here, and for some strange reason, that part that should be between the legs here, underneath the bit that deals with your feet. So what did Dr Kell and his toothbrush find out? Was the old diagram correct? There is a huge area devoted to the analysis of um, the hand, and lateral to it, another big area, which is the representation of the human face. This is due to the fact that in these regions, hand and face, you've got lots of receptors. You've got a high degree of um, discrimination in these areas. So there's more need of analysis, more need of computation. So the areas in, in which those uh, body regions are represented are bigger than other body parts. If our bodies were in proportion to the amount of brain dedicated to them, your average human would look like this. All head and hands. Hi. Nice. Mm. But what about the penis, which, according to the textbooks, should be beneath the bit of brain dealing with the feet? Let's find out how much brain that takes up. We stimulated the tip of the penis and the shaft of the penis, as you can see here in green and in blue, and those two activations lie in the same spots. Therefore, the representation of the penis is very small. But that's not all. According to the past experts, the area of the brain that should be lighting up is a bit beneath the area that deals with the toes. But when Dr Kill's assistant started stimulating his subjects, they found that the bit that lit up was in fact right here where it should be, between the bit of the brain that controls the abdomen and the bit dedicated to the legs. In so doing, they rewrote 40 years of medical knowledge. 